Hey guys, welcome to another video for the legend that is the Pocophone F1. Now, a couple of months back I made a video on how to downgrade from 12.0.3 to 11.0.9. At that point in time, it was allowed by Xiaomi but now they have blocked it. So they, you know, don't really allow you to downgrade without you know having an unlocked bootloader so today's video is how you downgrade your phone from the latest MIUI version to 11.0.9 or even the first ever MIUI version with which the phone was installed but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you can join us and support last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going So what do we have here? We have a Pocophone F1 with an unlocked bootloader, more than 50% battery, all the data backed up. Yes, there was a hint and instruction for you. You need to have more than 50% battery. You need to make sure your bootloader is unlocked. You need to have a TWRP recovery installed without which you will not be able to downgrade. And most importantly, you need to make sure that all your data is backed up because we are going to wipe everything including the internal storage. So here's what we're going to do. The process on this one is completely simple compared to the K20 Pro because it doesn't have a pop-up camera. Now, pretty simple steps here. We're going to boot into recovery. We will format data, reboot to recovery, wipe everything, connect to the computer, copy the file that you want to go to like MIUI 8, 9, 10, whatever, and flash it and you should be good to go. How that turns out? is what this video is about so first things first what we're going to do we're going to boot into twrp and to do that on the pocophone f1 you have to press and hold volume up and power and keep it pressed till the time you see a poco logo there you have it the phone should boot into a custom recovery all right now as you can see over here i did say this in the k20 pro video that if you flash a custom ROM, if you flash a stock rom and you don't flash magisk or dfe it will overwrite the stock the custom recovery and you will have the stock recovery that is what has happened nothing to worry we will quickly flash the recovery and boot into orange fox all right so just like that we are in twrp and what we're going to do is we'll go to this bin First, we will do a format data. Now, we do a format data to avoid any encryption, decryption issues and uh, possibly, definitely, this is an Android version downgrade versus a MIUI version downgrade, which is a little more serious. So you want to be as clean as possible to downgrade to a lower version of Android and a lower version of MIUI. So you go to menu, you go to reboot and you select reboot recovery after which we will be wiping everything, including internal storage, which will give us a very, very clean phone. There you go, Orange Fox has booted up quickly. Now, we will go to the bin again. Dalvik Cache System Vendor Data Internal Storage. Swipe to wipe. Okay, now we're gonna connect the phone to the computer and we're gonna copy over the file. All right, so now the phone is clean and we have copied the file to the phone's internal memory. So we will go to this file icon over here. And this is 9.6.14 so that is android 8.1 and miui 9 and as you can see it is flashing just fine so you know while this is flashing what i would like to share over here is you can pretty much flash any version of miui through the latest twrp that is the orange fox recovery and you should be good to go just make sure you follow the steps and you should not have any problems at all it is just like flashing any other custom rom and so far i have not had any any issues sometimes you have a region issue wherein face unlock doesn't work if you have that issue there is a face unlock fix available or you can flash it through fast boot and stuff but most of the time you don't really have any problems we're just gonna wait for this to completely flash and then we will see what happens after it boots all right now as you can see on the Pocophone f1 everything has been flashed so wipe cache and reboot to system 
Now remember, this is MIUI, the first boot will take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And once that happens, we will skip the setup part and then we will have a look at the system. All right, as you can see, we are on the MIUI 9 lightning fast setup screen. My God, I've seen that after a very long time. We're gonna quickly skip through this and we will see if everything is okay. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen of the software with which the phone was launched. Now, if you have a look over here, about phone Poco F1 Android 8.1, first July 2018, God, this is old. MIUI version 9.6.14, we do have network, Wi-Fi is working, all the old mobile type icons, everything is fine. The camera is working just okay. We don't have any problems there. I have just, you know, gone ahead and tested the sensor, including gyro and everything else. So everything seems to be working perfectly fine. So, you know, there is a link in the description which gives you access to all the files which were, you know, as a MIUI version ever released for the Pocophone F1. So this is your step-by-step -step easy guide on an unlocked bootloader to downgrade Pocophone F1 to any MIUI version. Let me know in the comment section if this video is useful or not. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.